Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh. Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders that great millstone who taught us his truth. And who rule well, peace and love, say, taste and mercy. Be unto you hopeful of lack Akim that it has in your lives to push his truth, to magnify the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and to herald in the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, in the kingdom of heaven, which is first his, and then the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. And to the rest of you believers that also are part of the hopeful elect, you men, women, and children, are you Akim and Fiyagwatim that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with your whole heart, mind, body, and spirit? And peace be unto you, and Shalom. You know, Yahweh Shai is coming soon, but before he comes, these prophecies have to happen in the earth. And the major prophecy that is taking place right before your very eyes is the implementation of the MOTB system, in which the system is already set up, but they want to know how do they get everyone on the system. And when it came down to, you know, the 2020, you know, situation, that's what I'm going to call it. You know, you should know what happened in 2020. Basically, what they were doing was a trial run, you know, to see how things would go if they were to put such a system in place and how they need to go about it. So now they collected the data, they got the information, they know what they need to do this go around. And this go around, they know that people aren't going to willingly, you know, uh, um, do it. So what they're going to have to do is put you in a snare. They're going to have to put you into a position where you feel as if there's no other choice but to receive their MOTB, you know, their, their, their um, karate, you know, or their digital off. Now, the only ones that are not going to take it will be the elect. All right, only the elect will not take it. Now you have uh, Captain Joel of the IUIC, who's basically, you know, uh, vomiting up, you know, the same rhetoric that he learned from uh, Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC, you know, in regards to the MOTB. All right, which, if you have, if you don't know, then that means that you maybe you're from another planet, you know. But the but the MOTB is the RFID chip in the brain implant, and it's nothing else. Now, he was saying things within that video that he did in regards to, you know, uh, uh, making references to the MOTB being Christianity. And it does not make sense when you thoroughly investigate the scriptures, when you thoroughly count, you know, or reckon according to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the Holy Spirit, which he accused us here at Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and elders, of not having uh, the Holy Spirit to be able to discern the scriptures. But really, it's vice versa. You know, it's the other way around. You know, which if you went into the actual words within the Greek, things will begin to make more sense. Now, I'm here uh, doing the interest with the beloved brother, Sure. You know, and we're of the, the Great Millstone Detroit body. You know, we're going to go into, you know, Revelation, the 13th chapter, beginning at verse 15. Which, if you can read that, Baba Kasha. And uh, grab it in the blue letter, because we're going to look up some words. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse 15. It says, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now they push the idea that the image of the beast is an actual uh, uh, image of Cesare Borgia, you know, which is hella off, all right? Like Apostle Tahar said, ain't no pictures of Cesare Borgia out there talking, <laughs> you know? You know, which which uh, Cesare Borgia is, is the, the person that the image that you see now today, that they push on the world as being Christ, or, or that has been pushed on the world as being Christ, you know, that's not the image of the beast. All right, the image of the beast is this system that they set up that's based upon ancient Rome. All right, the image isn't an actual image. 
you know, or it's, or it's not your, your the media, you know, it's not the, the TV. Like Apostle Sahar said as well, when you turn on the TV, ain't no pictures of, of, of Cesare Borgia coming up on our TVs, man. You know, uh, speaking to us, <laughs> you know, worship me. All right, that's not going on. So this image that is set up is, a, is, is this system that is based upon ancient Rome. Now, when you go into the word image, I want you to go into the word image and, and give the uh, the word there that's in Greek. <clears throat> it says uh, iconic. Yeah, which where you get the word icon. G fifteen. Icon. Icon, and that's where you get the word icon. Mm -hmm. Now, an icon doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a um, a, a, a app. That's that's on the front of your desktop, you know, on the front of your yeah. phone. It doesn't have to be an actual image of a person. You got you have people that are that are called icons. Oh, this is my icon. Why do you call it your icon? Because you 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 um, what you say? You look up to. You look up to that person. So you try to reflect that person, their way of thought, their mannerism. All right, the way that they carry themselves, the way that they speak. All right, that's that's somebody that you can uh, look at as as worthy of being imitated, and that's what's happening with this whole Roman system that is set in place today. All right, this this country, and and and, and uh, the rulership that that they hold throughout the world is imitating that 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 a uh, uh, Roman system of ancient Rome. All right, this neo-Roman system is imitating that system of ancient Rome. Now, when you go down to the Strong's definition, <clears throat> what does it say? This is a likeness. A likeness. Go ahead. Statue. All right. Profile. Oh, profile. Uh, what yeah. is a profile? Yeah. Can you can you define the word profile, Baba Kasha? Yeah. yeah that says, uh, this is an outline of something, especially a person's face, as go. seen from one side. Uh, this is an outline of something. Yeah, but but you let's say for instance you got a social media account. It says it just describe. It, it, exactly. So you have a, a part within that account mm -hmm. that gives you a description. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it's not an actual picture of your face. Although although your face could be a part of your profile, you have a part where you describe yourself. Oh, I'm, right. I'm, six I'm, I'm six foot yeah. foot five. You know, dark skin, I'm hazel eyes. You know, right. <laughs> <laughs> So, so this place is imitating the profile of, of ancient Rome. Keep going. And, uh, it says, sorry, <clears throat> represent an outline of, of from one side. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, go back to the de uh, the Strong's definition. Yep, it says um, figuratively representation, resemblance. Resemblance. When you look at the the the, uh, the the major government buildings, you know, and other buildings within this place, what do they look yeah, like? Got the pillars. It looks like Rome. Yep. Matter of fact, uh, I believe it was one of the apostles that brought it out. But Washington D.C. before it was called Washington D.C. was called Rome. Mm. All right, the river that runs through that joint, you know, reminded them of uh, of the Tiber. All right. Which is, which if I'm not mistaken, is named after uh, Tiberius Caesar. If I'm not mistaken, you know, I could be wrong. But anyways, this place is set up to resemble ancient Rome. And not only the, the physical aspects of it, all right, but the legislation, all right, the laws. So the image that's set up, all right, that, that um, uh, uh, to, the, to the beast, is 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 set up to imitate Rome. So you have the legislation, legislative body. All right, you have this the um, this this yeah. You have the Senate that that speaks through Congress. So they form certain laws, not only for people to follow here, but but to follow all throughout the world, where their where their empire is spread throughout all the world, because right now it's given to them to rule over the planet Earth. Now. This particular empire that's set up, cause cause he brought out how when they first came over here, they 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 uh the conquistadors pushed Christianity and speaking of uh, Captain Joel, how they pushed Christianity and that image on the on the natives that were here. All right, 
But after the 13 colonies were formed and America grew into what it grew now, all right, they got out of that Christianity vibration. When you look at the, the, the legislative body right now, or when you look at uh, uh, the, the, the governments, uh, uh, the legislative, the executive, the judicial, it ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking moles up in there right now. Yeah. All right, when you go from the president on down to the vice president, to the Senate members, to the legislator, to the, the, the governors, the senators, the mayors of, 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 of cities, all right, the governors of cities, the, the council members, or right, even the sheriffs, and even in the military, they're pushing an anti-Messiah vibration. All right, they're going against uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, they're pushing a, a way, a lifestyle that's an abomination. They're not pushing Christianity. When you look at the 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 the, the governing body of America, and you look at all of these these different uh, um, alphabet people that are that are uh, uh, in, in within the government, are they pushing Christianity? Hell no, they not. Basically, they're trying to get you as far as far away from a biblical thought as possible. And one of the reasons why they want you to take that MOTB, right. so they can have you in the frame of mind when when, when you're thinking of the scriptures. They're trying to take you as far away from that as possible. Now, this is something I saw on uh, uh, Wikipedia. And this says uh, um, a list of alphabet members of the United States uh, Congress. And if you can read that, Baba Kashai, the part that's highlighted in purple. <clears throat> and uh, be mindful of the algorithm. Yep. You know, so, I got you. Yep. Um, it says, as of March 2021, 20, 26 members of the alphabet community are known to have held office in the U.S. Congress. See? They held office where? In the U.S. Congress. In the U.S. Congress. Mm -hmm. So the image of the beast is it, it speaks. It, it's uh, uh, the, the Senate that speaks through con through the Congress. So they they um I, or I, I may have it wrong. Or the Congress that speaks through the Senate. You know, Salakia. You know, if I got it wrong. But pretty much, they're helping to to yeah. write certain laws. And for that. And for and for yeah. a certain agenda. All right, which is an abomination. That's right. So how in the hell can you say that this place is going around pushing Christianity? They're not pushing Christianity. All right, they're, they're, they're trying to take people afar, as far away from the Bible as possible. Is it any more on that? Yep, it says, in the House, 25 alphabet people held office. See? In the Senate, three. In the Senate, three? Yeah. So, so you think that, that, that they're going to allow legislation to come through that thing that goes against their agenda? Mm -hmm. No. So, so therefore, how could Christianity be the MOTB when this place isn't even pushing that Christianity? It says two people, uh, Tammy Baldwin and Kristen Cinema, served in the House and were later elected into the Senate. Okay. Now going from here and going to this article from the Washington Post and um, read a little bit of, of, of that, beginning with the um, the uh, the title. Okay, it says, uh, 11 openly alphabet lawmakers will take their seats in the next Congress. See? That's a record. So you have the, the Congress that speaks through the Senate. Mm -hmm. All right? And you have a bunch of moles that are up in there. So they're not pushing the Bible. They're not pushing Christianity. Mm -hmm. All right? Although Christianity is off, they don't want anything to do with that. They want to take your mind as far away from that as possible. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, that's a record in both numbers and diversity. <clears throat> it says... uh. When the when the 117th Congress conveys January 3rd fully, 11 openly alphabet members, a record will take their seat. You know what's more, they will be the most diverse members of Congress the the county has yet seen, 
with more people of color than before. God. And, and they like to use Jake's face mm -hmm. when they promote certain things like this. Yeah. And that's the reason why the scriptures say that the, the sure of their countenance is, is, is as Sodom. You know? And they and they hide it not. Because they're not ashamed of this in which they should be. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why they have a penalty and a judgment that's going to come from on high from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. So... The, the legislative, the executive, and the judicial branch of government are all f filled with most. All right? Now, the U.S. Army as well, because he mentioned that, 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 that pretty much how the army is going around or something along the lines of, of that, you know, is, is, is basically they're using their military to, to go around pushing this. No, they're not. You know, even when they went and fought against Afghanistan, all right, you got the, even though the, t the Taliban is set up by them, you know, through their CIA, through their FBI, all right, they're still practicing Islam. They're still uh, uh, Muslims. All right, they're still Islamic. All right, you got Islamic countries that are out there that, that, that are still able to buy and sell. Because you also push that when you go to Revelation, the 13th chapter, verse 16, that that's dealing with, with nations and that, and that it's not dealing with a single individual. It's dealing with a single individual. But let's say, for instance, just entertaining, you know, the thought of what you said, if it was dealing with nations, well, wait, you got Hinduism out there. You got Jew, uh, uh, um, Buddhism. You got Judaism. All right, you got... Uh, um, People that are into all, all of these different countries that are into all of these different religions that are still able to buy and sell. Hell, we're Hebrew Israelites. We don't believe in Christianity. So how are we still able to buy and sell? See, when you, when you thoroughly observe this, the things that come out of their mouth, it don't make sense. But you mentioned that the U.S. Army, you know, is uh, or something along the lines of that. You know, if, I, if I'm quoting you wrong, and you can come back and, and, and say that I'm quoting you wrong. But but it's spreading Christianity. Now, when you go into the army, there's a lot of diversity within the army, too, when it comes down to sexuality. All right, or, or, or preferences. So you got a lot of alphabet people inside of the, the U.S. Army as well. And here's an article on that. Baba Kashav, you can read that. Yep. It says top civilian commander at U.S. Air Base led child sex abuse ring. And when you when you <clears throat> go into the article, he was abusing his adopted sons mm. that he adopted. Not adopted daughters, but adopted sons. So what did that tell you? You got you got pedos up in there, too. Mm -hmm. All right. You got you got people that love children that are up in the U.S. military. Aside from, you know, the, the men that like to put on women's clothing and the, and the women that like to put on men's clothing, you know, or, or men that prefer someone that is the same as them. Orientation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so how can you say that they're pushing that around the world when they conquer, when, when they go in and fight against nations, they're not, they're not trying to convert those nations into Christians. They want the resources of the place. They want to take over the government so that they can control the country so that they can uh, maintain those resources. But they're not pushing Christianity on them. They cause them to adopt this kind of behavior. Right. All right, which is that alphabet behavior as well as other legislations, as well as other laws. But it's not dealing with Christianity. And uh, if I may say something real fast, they're adding that um, into that whole group. That being uh, peas, okay, right? and uh, dealing with uh, children and saying that that is it's all oh, it's 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 natural, right? There is no age. So, like the brothers going into, they they want all type of perverseness. They want all type of anti messiah behavior going on in these last days. That's it, kind. Okay. And it's not just this particular movement. You know that they're that they're uh, pushing around the world. You know there's other laws as well. You know, uh, or women's rights. Mm -hmm. You know, as well as as well as other things also. 
So, given just just uh, basically bringing this out to prove that this this government, you know, or this system that's ruling over the whole world doesn't want anything to do with Christianity. They don't want anything to do with the Bible. All right, they're trying to take that away. All right, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has has caused them to do certain things that 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 limit them from from being able to completely do that. And that was for our sakes, so that we can continue to push this gospel and his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, lifting up the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. For an example, the, U the United States of America doesn't have an official religion. All right, you can look it up. Christianity isn't the official religion of the United States of America. So, this isn't like, like Spain, you know, when you go back you know, with Queen Isabella and, and King Ferdinand, when they were going around conquering in the name of Christianity, when they slaughtered and killed people in the name of Christianity. All right. There's no official religion of the United States of America. So this is coming from the ACLU.org. And it says the establishment clause of the First Amendment prohibits government, uh, uh, prohibits government from encouraging or promoting establishing religion in any way wait so so that the the, the constitution stops them from pro promoting or uh, uh, or establishing religion in any way so they can't they can't push religion all right why do you think that there's a separation from church and state right all right even though they they came up with the 501c3 which iuic has one which is a gag order. I believe that was Lyndon Bain Johnson that came up with that. All right, although they came up with that, guess what? They still can't push religion. Now, with that, with that gag order, since I mentioned it, it stops you from being able to, if you have it, it stops you from being able to say certain things. So you can't speak out against political agendas. You can't speak out against the moles. You can't speak out against the government establishing the MOTB system. There's certain things you can't say. Reading on, it says, that's why we don't have an official religion of the United States. This means that, that the government may not give financial support to any religion. So there's a, there's a, um, no official religion of the United States of America. When they go around conquering nations, they, they force them to follow their laws. All right. To worship, to bow down and worship the image of the beast. All right. To accept certain legislation or right, certain democracies. All right. They're not they're not uh, um, making people follow Christianity. All right. They're, they're forcing people to become moles, all right, to, to uh, push certain women's rights legislation. So here, all right, aren't we, aren't we Hebrew Israelites? But we're still able to buy and sell. You know, other people that live, you know, uh, in America and abroad that practice different religions, they're, they're still able to buy and sell. So how can Christianity be the, uh, uh, the MOTB? It doesn't make sense. So going back to Revelation, the 13th chapter, and this time, verse 16. Revelation 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. See? It says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, what is the word mark? When you go into the word mark, the word there is karagma, mm -hmm. which means an inserted thing or a thing inserted. Because what are they trying to do? Trying to own you. They're trying to take total control over the people. And they're going to do it through coercion. They're going to strip away your liberties. They're going to strip away your freedom. They're going to strip away your rights. They're going to strip away your, your uh, uh, ability to go and get food. They're going to uh, um, uh, um, make it to where you feel like you have no choice. In order to live, in order to survive, in order to get by... You will have to receive their digital all. They're, they're, they're going away from uh, uh, paper currency, all right, or, or the fiat currency, 
to, to digital currency. And when they implement this digital currency, the digital currency will not be, you know, in the, in the, in the physical or tangible form to where you, 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 you count out a hundred, you know, dollar bills, you know, or you counting out coinage. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, why would they call it digital currency? Right. All right. It's digital. So it's going to be on a computer, but how do you get access to it? In order for you to get access to it, guess what? You're not going to be using your cell phone. You're not going to be using, you know, uh, your, your cell phone to buy or sell. You're going to be using, you know, a, 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 a MOTB, a, a, a chip that they put inside of you, the RFID chip that they put inside of you to be able to buy, to be able to sell. And that's how they're going to have complete control over you. When you go into the root word of karagma, the word is, the, the word there is karaks, yes. mm -hmm. which means to uh, uh, to stick or to prick or, or uh, 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 etching. You know, so they'll use a particular instrument to drive in that karagma. But inside of that karagma, you have information on it. So the root word of karaks is grapho, because inside of that it has information, and with that information through the internet, it connects to their system. All right, that 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 that, that will be a um, how can you say it? it will be a one world system? All right, it will be a one world centralized system to where it's completely integrated all around the world. Everybody will be on that same system. So there's no uh, way that you can you can make money off the books. There's no way that you can cheat the system. There's no way that you can commit fraud. There's no way that you could you could uh, get money on the low without them knowing. There's no way that you can uh, uh, do tax evasion. There's no way that you could uh, um, uh, go against the system. Because if you go against it, then they'll just shut it right off. So th this isn't Christianity. All right. Because if, if, if the MOTB was Christianity, then how are people still... You got Muslims inside of, you know, uh, uh, America that own shops. They own uh, uh, bodegas. They own uh, liquor stores. They own gas stations. They own grocery stores. They own markets. You know, they own, you know, uh, 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 businesses, you know, uh, health health businesses. You know, they're, they're working in the hospitals. As well as people that are into Buddhism. As well as people that are into any other religion. So how in the hell are they still buying and selling? They're not, they're not worshiping Cesare Borgia. They're not bowing down to the image of the beast in that regard, but they're bowing down to the image of the beast in the regard of following the ways of America and accepting their laws. Even though they still practice their religion, they still follow the, the laws of America, which, are, which a lot of them are based off of ancient Rome. The whole system itself. All right, given the Senate, all right, the Senate body, the, 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 the Congress, you know, the president, all right, this form of government is based off of ancient Rome. Now this system is, is forcing people to, to receive an actual thing inside of them. And that's the MOTB. Go ahead. <clears throat> it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, did it say nation? Mm -mm. No, it said man, that no man may buy or sell. Mm -hmm. All right. Save he that had the mark. Or the, or the name of the beast Or the number of the beast Now when you go into the number of the beast What is the number of the beast? Chai Zai Stigma right. Alright Which within that you have, the, you have the Kai or the Chai Which looks like an X You have the um, The Zai Alright And then you have the, the, the Stigma Which uh, if I'm not mistaken the stigma is a, is a is a compound word, if I'm not mistaken, but I believe that it's the um, the sigma and the and the tall put together to make a stigma. All right, and 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 it is, it's also used for the number six. But when you go into a stigma, all right, and you go to uh, Galatians the the sixth chapter verse seventeen. Is used there within Galatians 6 and 17 for the word mark. Mm -hmm. And when you go into it, it's, 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 it's basically describing it as, you know, a person that receives 
you know, uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, branding or some kind of mark for, for recognition of ownership. Go ahead. Um, this is a stigma. It says a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. It says um, to ancient oriental use usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked a cut into their bodies. Done. And what is it? What is that done for? To indicate recognition of ownership. Mm -hmm. That that you that you belong to somebody. That you that they own you. And this is what the elites want to do unto the whole world for ownership. So it, that's not through Christianity, because the the small hats, the small hats that rule over the earth they don't even believe in Christianity. And these are the ones that are part of the banking that that own the banking institutions. These are the ones that own the, the, the Federal Reserve, which is which is uh, through the Federal Reserve. They're, they're uh, uh, going to come up with the CBDC, a central bank digital currency, which is going to be a one world currency for people to use all around the world. They don't believe in the Messiah. So how can you say that the image that they're pushing, the image created to the beast is, is an image of Cesare Borgia and the MOTB? You want to say that that's Christianity. It doesn't make sense. But what makes sense is. For them to put something inside of you, mm -hmm. for you to use to where you can't buy or sell unless you have it. And that time is the time that we're living in. Let's end it off on uh, Revelation 3 and 10. All right, now you want to grab that? Uh, the brother, we just picked up a brother he got in the car. So we're going to let him get in there too. Uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Yeah, they're not going to go around killing people because they don't want to convert to Christianity. <laughs> they're not going to shut you off from the system because you don't want to convert to Christianity. You're not about to go to a market and they're going to say, well, no, we can't sell you food because you're not a Christian. And then how would they know who's a Christian or not? There has to be a mark, <laughs> a physical mark. And what would that physical mark be? It would be the MOTB, the RFID chip and the brain implant. So the hour of temptation is going to be when you when you coerce, they're trying to coerce you. All right, through violence to receive the MOTB. All right, they're shutting you out from the society. They're not allowing you to buy or sell. All right, unless you receive their the act the actual physical mark that they want to give you. You know, so with that May we hope that this lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makai Kodash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who grew well. Peace and love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. A shalom and a bad babal. Kwan Barkayam.